Modus operandi, written by James Helsing. Interior, Captain Stoughton's office. Day. Books, mug sheets, paperwork for days, all meticulously well kept. A printer spits out some pages. Vernon Stoughton, 60s, is white-haired. The homicide captain. He wears a white shirt, conservative tie, and suit. He holds court behind his desk. Roman Perry is nicely dressed in a suit. The 39-year-old is handsome and toned with an effortless sensuousness. An air of heartbreak bubbles beneath his lonely eyes. His badge is tucked into his belt. He sits next to his partner, Vincent Sanchez, 30-something and classically handsome with old-school cop eyes. His badge hangs around his neck. Roman's eyes drop down to the captain's desk. Facing Roman is a newspaper. The headline reads, Drug Lord Gunned Down by Mystery Man. Vincent's cop eyes zero in on a perspiring Roman. She still has top security clearance from her days in London 5-0. She has a perfect record. No case she took on ever went unsolved. And the bad guys always devoured their just desserts. Isn't that highly unethical? Bringing in an outside entity? And how do we know this is a serial case? She volunteered her services gratis to the chief and he obliged. You can work in conjunction with your own investigation. He hands Roman and Vincent copies of a resume. Irene. Queer Eye? Query. Yeah, CNN profiler. One of the Yard's biggest stars. Proper British lady. Very. I rarely got half of what she said. Thick accent? Thick words. I think she got off on drowning me in her <clears throat> Master of Philosophy from Oxford and Cambridge PhD from the Institution of Criminology. The Old Guard. Stop and hands Roman a photo. Close on photo. A regal lady in her 70s. A long, studied face exuding confidence. A thousand stories to tell. Travels all over the world profiling. Keeps a place here in Frisco. Irene Query has quietly entered the room, obscured by a coat rack. She listens, unseen. The Hound of the Baskervilles. I like her face. Lots of character. Lots of warmth. She's not here to tuck you in at night, Junior. And don't let that sweet little old lady exterior fool you. She wants to spurn your advances, boss. Where are your cups, boys? If you get my drift. Irene's voice stings the air. You can be a ringmaster and not be a character plucked from Dickens. And there she is. A Miss Marple with a razor-sharp edge. Tucked under her arm is a newspaper, the drug lord murder headline, which faces Roman. Sorry, I was just... Beating the meat? I know. Roman and Vincent stand. Vernon Stout, Captain, Robbery and Homicide Division. Down 13 points in public opinion polls. My condolences. Uh, the two leads, Roman Perry and... I know who they are. It's an honor. How do you do? Irene holds a monocle to her eyes, studying the two kids. What happened to the lieutenant? Suicide. Pier 7. This strikes a chord with Irene. I thought such mindsets had been abolished here in the colonies. Irene is through here. She turns to leave. Look, I apologize. It's just that... I'm here to facilitate, not castrate. An orthodox sort of orthodox? I admire your individualities. You're a shrewd philosopher. A scholar. I can see how an academic thinker got to be reeve of this shire. Uh, thanks. So am I forgiven? Negative. How come? Because you're a shrewd philosopher. Your analysis was born out of idiocy. Do your demons keep you awake at night, Miss Query? Only when I haven't poised them with a suitable bottom fuck. Irene storms out of the office. Well, she may be an independent entity, but I fully expect her to keep us abreast of her findings. Is that clear? Roman and Vincent nod and leap from their seats. Roman grabs a case file. Captain Stoughton pops a prescription pill. 